You're listening to littlepodcast.com. On Friday, I had to go to the DMV. Oh, you're fucked. Remember when Pence had a fly on him? Nah! No, that's when you're out with a hot girl. You gotta get the easy one out in the bathroom. (laughs) We got a landlord and training, boys! Fuck the bucket. Exactly. Fuck the bucket. The fuck it. Welcome to Born in the 80s, episode 412. I am your host, as always, John Danger, joined by my co-hosts. Matt, 412 Blaze at Hag. TJ, Mr. Jorts Bay. And Spanky, Mr. Jorts the second. We're Mr. and worried. Mr. Jorts. We're pronounced man and man. And Mr. Jorts. Mr. And Jorts. The Jorts is ladies and gentlemen you know how there's those actually... mr men like little miss sunshine mr whatever oh yeah we're like the jorts men yeah meet mm-hmm. the jorts now ben i'm not wearing, i'm not wearing jorts today because uh oh it so is, your uh, name is a lie yeah i wear jorts about 80 percent of the year it's fine but it is fucking 37 degrees and i'm not talking about celsius up here fucking cold oh man really well it's probably about 41 right now it's It's gonna get really cold tonight it's like still in the upper 60s today (laughs) oh i wish i would have had to zoom in for that yeah that would have been great so the the latest episode that john's remembered to put on the website is uh 404 which doesn't exist and then uh, yeah. below that, I forgot that the name of 403 was Poobaroo. And I really just, <laughs> I remembered the Poobaroo story. And I'm just really excited about that. I do not, right. I do not remember any of the stories from any episode. Well, I mean, that's fair. 43 fucking degrees up here. What the fuck? Let's, let's check uh, the local weather. So it, it, it's, it's, it's fall has fallen upon us. No, I came from a place that's sprung. Fall as autumn, fall has autumn fell. has fallen. Winter is here, and it's colder than usual. Oh, it's down. It's, it's down to fifty-five here. Chilly. It's fifty-seven freedom degrees where I where I drove up from this morning, and it is like no degrees here. It is like I had to wear a jacket, and I still don't. I was hanging out, out outside all day, and I might have gotten sunburned. That's what it was like today here. It was super nice out in there. Yeah, it was like 70 degrees out. Yeah. I mowed the lawn. I pl- I finished Halo 2 with Spanky. I got a lot Jealous. done Jealous. Even you... though I didn't get any achievements for it. Did you play Halo 2 while you were mowing the lawn? Yeah. Is I'm that very why good you don't it. have a foot anymore? Or is that the diabetes? I... The diabetes. That's the diabetes. You guys hear Wilfred Brimley died? Yeah, yeah, like a million years ago. Not that long ago. No, like, so I don't know. Past two in, months? Tw- in 2020 time, you know? Did you all watch The Thing in, in remembrance of Wilfred Brimley? Yeah. It, what, what thing? Walker, Texas Ranger? The Thing. <laughs> the, the... Diabe- Rock oh. Me Diabetes. Wait, what, th- what thing? Oh, God damn it, John! You know what I'm talking about. He died, what? just so you know, on August first. Cocoon. So like two months three, ago, three decades ago. Got it. <laughs> Presidential COVIDs ago is that? Uh huh. So, so John, I need you to fuck off of all games. Yeah, fuck off. Except for not? one. I need fuck off of all games except for one, because you and I. They're need to play fuck. some simula- simulation racing. Because uh, they put regular Foz- Forza Motorsport 7 oh. on Game Pass for PC. Yeah. Fuck Horizon. We gotta play Forza. Like reg- real Forza. Forza. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I can do that. So, no more WoW. We're gonna play Forza for uh, the rest I don't of our lives. But... We, got, we gotta grind. We gotta grind Forza. <laughs> Get those Forza points. Whatever the fuck happens in it, I don't know. Open Matt, up those what have you been doing? Boxes. Uh, I have been trying to not be such a lazy pile of garbage and walking, and that means I'm tired all the time because of the walking. 
You, you know what help with that? Not walking? Fucking se- no, send me fucking Pokemon Go gifts. I need more. I've been doing every... There's a gym here that I always make sure to take over to. Because fuck, fuck whatever neighbor ki- neighborhood kids are still playing <laughs> the Pokemon Go. That's my gym. It's mine. Yeah. Now, what, what teams fucking, are all you? I, I forget. I'm Team Blue. I think that's Team Misty from Pokemon. Yeah. Wait, what? John? John, what what team are you in po- in Pogo? In po- Pokemango? Pokemango. Uh, in Pokemango, I am a blue team. Okay. TJ? Spanky, have you, pl- have you played the Mangos? Yeah. Uh, I played it the like day it came out, and I thought it wasn't very fun, and I stopped. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm also I, I'm, I'm also somebody team didn't blue. Pokemon Go to the polls. I well, did team, not. Pokemon team go to the blue polls. is the obvious choice. It's the greatest. Oh, yeah, I've got the wallet to show for it too. P- TJ, P- okay. It looked bad when you when you had your hand down there. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> here, let, let, let me help it. Yeah. It just, yeah shake I, it I, loose. I, shake it loose. Got the team blue wallet. Got the team blue T-shirt. I have. Uh, it's so just, I, got, I'm wearing a blue T-shirt, and I have blue Pokemon, hair. Got a Pokemon trainer T-shirt in blue. It's all great. So I got. Um, I got. I, I got, I'm gonna have COVID, and how, what's the incubation time? Fourteen, 14 days. What? Fourteen days. No, that's not know. the incubation time. Five days. I don't know. Average covid incubation period let's see why, why do you have COVID? four to five days well because on friday i had to go to the dmv oh you're fucked you're so fucked. I, yep. I am 100 percent fucked i but my license expired and i need to be able to drive and why do you have to drive nobody's driving anywhere thanks to the government the i gun. now need to get a real id so that i can go on planes Nobody's so flying I go, anywhere. I had to go in person. Well, I'm going to in the future. No, you, it's cute that you think that travel is going to be a thing. <laughs> You're right. You're right. But, like, it's just one of those things that, man, going to the DMV is, like, I mean, I got to give them credit to some degree because they had it all planned out. They had a person standing outside who was like, hey, what are you in just here Just immediately for? spraying you in the mouth with COVID no, to get it over No, but, like, they had, they had, like, a bouncer because it was, like, the lady stops you and is like, all right, what are you coming in for? Uh, do you have the right documents? Because I'm not even going to let you in the building if you're just right. someone who's like going to come in here and be like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, which I'm sure there are plenty of people. The guy in front of me was kind of like that. He was a, uh, a man in his 60s uh, who was wearing pants with no belt. Um, uh, he uh, talked like he was drunk always. Um, you know, like, you know, I'm talking about like a guy in their 60s who sounds like they're just the way they talk, they're drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like Joe Biden. Up. Joe Biden was your guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sure. But uh, like, uh, I mean, he wasn't a bad person or anything, but he was just like, well, you don't know that guys. for sure. He could have been he terrible. Was, well, I'm sure he probably was. He's an old, a white man in the 60s. He's, He's probably got terrible, some but... bodies in his shed or something. <laughs> but, uh, he was just like talking about how he, he's like, he's like, you know, like when you have old people that they have to tell you their whole life story when they come in for customer service stuff. Yeah. You know, and he was just like, well, I got to get an uh, ID. Uh, I don't drive anymore, but I got my valid driver's license here, but they need an ID. It was just like this whole story. That he's telling this fucking guy at the front desk. Who, it was just like, all right, uh, here's your form. Go fill it out. You know, <laughs> and then I. And then I come in with all my shit printed out, you know, because I'm just prepared because I don't I want this hell to be as quick as possible. And I have my I, my my wife absolutely fucked our printer, like not literally, but I mean, it, it's it is borked and it doesn't print black very well anymore. So I wasn't going to print out. the. Wow. Form what a fucking well. racist printer. I know I have a racist printer. Yeah. It doesn't do the black ink anymore. But um, so I wasn't going to, to show up with that. But they, I guess they have, like, you can do this thing where you bring up the application on your phone. It has, like, a QR code. And so I, like, handed the guy on my phone. And he scanned it and brought my application up. So I didn't have to print it out or anything. And uh, took a photo. Uh, waited in line. It was actually pretty short. But, like, I'll tell you a couple things. If you're, if you're worried about COVID, one, that place has terrible ventilation in there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could tell. There's no air moving in this room. Um, but they had like, 
like maybe in this entire like you know thousand square foot room like seven chairs like spaced out so it was like really spaced out and like everyone was maintaining distances they required masks uh because the mask mandate thank god that's still in effect or else i wouldn't have gone because this is state-owned building so they can't enforce masks basically the guy too ahead of me was a uh just from overhearing, because this is what I do when I'm in public. And this is what everyone does in public. So if you're a weird person in public, people hear you and talk about you behind your back. Um, yep. This guy Shit. in front of me had like one of the, he, okay, so you know the type of asshole it is. Because you can tell what kind of person a person is based on what mask they're wearing, what type of mask. Oh, yeah. So, so he, let me, can I guess, can I guess what kind of mask <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're wearing? Yeah. Did he have a bandana that was tied around like his nose, but like the mouth part just had a, a slight triangle in front of it? No, no. Because no, no, no. that's one of those ones that goes... every male. That's what every male wears every time I go to somewhere. It's like it's like they're wearing a bandana. Oh, but like it's not like a bandana hugging their face. It just kind of like hovers in front of their mouth no. while they breathe out the sides of it. No, no, no. I got it. it he just tied a t-shirt around his face really sloppily. So I definitely saw a person that was doing that. Not <laughs> here, but it was at a Target that I was at like a couple weeks ago when I got my flu shot. It was a guy, dude, just a fucking t-shirt wrapped around his face. Um, but. Uh, no, it is the the neck gator thing that goes over your nose. Like, oh like, yeah, the things yeah. that don't like, work. Yeah, basically things that are are useless, but they look like the they're like the least annoying to wear, you know. So he likes to do that because it doesn't go over your ears. Um, but I remember he was talking to the guy at the front desk who was like, I don't know, probably in his like mid twenties, whatever. Guy looked he was a little moderately disheveled man, you know. It reminded me of a younger Adam Ham, you know, like. <laughs> Uh, just not not uh you know he's working for a state job you know i'll just uh, put on a wrinkly t-shirt you know and go go to go to work um but uh, he had his mask on not not very good i think it was almost falling off his nose so i was like well this is all right and it's an employee um but it was like one of those surgical masks you know like they, they ever everyone had those um but uh you know, he, he was, he was fine because he was young. So he was like, all right, doing customer service well. Um, but uh, yeah, I scanned my thing. I went in, uh, but the, when he was, when the other guy was up there, he was like, oh, I better put my mask back on or else the mask Nazis will get to me. And I'm like, oh, this fucking guy, like, come on, man. Like it's a, it's uh anyway, but I also found out that he was a veteran because he was talking to the person who, uh, oh, so he's a piece. So he's definitely a piece. Of yeah, <laughs> exactly. And so he was just like, talking to the lady up front and she was like, we can get like the Wisconsin's veteran like designation on your license if you want. Cause I guess they can put like form like veteran on your license, but he's got to be in like some fucking Wisconsin. What is it called? What's the thing The like all veterans hang out at? Uh, the VFW? VFW. Legion. VFW. 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 Yeah, you gotta be like, you gotta be like signed up in the VFW or whatever Wisconsin to get that. And he was like, so it like took like an extra 15 minutes up there and he was in front of me and it's like, this is so fucking stupid. It's a goddamn pandemic. Get your shit and get out. What the fuck are people doing? And so like, I had to take my mask off to get the photo, obviously, um, Mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's like fucking 10 seconds. So you got killed. That's what killed you. I'm going to die of COVID. And Mm -hmm. so we'll know uh, what, what is it? Four days. So Monday, Tuesday, well, how I'm feeling so um but I was probably in there for a total 30 minutes uh, that wasn't too bad but fuck and the lady I talked to had a USA mask so I got imagine she sucked although when we were talking about how annoying masks were she was like but you gotta wear them you know so I was like I can at least respect you thank you I, I am going to die <laughs> from COVID. like I I am 100% consigned to the fact that I just killed myself by going to the DMV well at least it so. was worth it right well i i it was compulsory well so i could have renewed online um but not got a real id compliant driver's license but then i would have to buy one of those in the future anyway so i was like i'm just gonna get it all done um it wasn't so bad i was expecting it to be far worse but man the dregs of society there oh my god i mean like there's a lot of people like me you know there too but just you know like the guy in front of me who was like in his 60s and kind of barely i mean obviously he didn't drive because he said he didn't drive anymore so i don't know how he got to the dmv on the east side of madison because it's in the middle of fucking nowhere like it's not near any bus route or anything so he was walking or he got a ride from somebody um and then 
who else? Oh, there's a, like an a older lady who was like doing the mask around the mouth and not the nose thing, you know, like over there. A and fucking just, nose like, dick. Just disheveled, you know, and then. Oh, you know, I have honest, like. And have she didn't have all of her stuff. About, she had to I'm, leave. Uh, I, was, didn't I have all honestly her thought about when I see a person with their nose hanging out. Just unzipping my pants a little bit and sticking one ball out, and it's being like, "Hey, if this offends you, cover up your fucking nose, and I'll put it away." I've covered up most of it. That's all that matters. Yeah. Anyway. And then I would like purposely like scoot by them, and be like, "Oh, excuse me," I can't just like rub my nut on their leg. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna rub your nut on their <laughs> leg? It's my it's my kink. Don't kink shame me. That's true. You, there, you should you shouldn't kink shame. So yeah, so that's how I'm going to die. I just want everyone to know that that's that's my I went. Well, I I, to, I think I talked on on the podcast about that. I went that super spreader um, wedding. Okay. Well, it's actually, it's spreading. been like a week though. No, it's right? been two weeks. So, so you're that, fine. So I'm fine. That's why I went to my neighbor's yesterday uh, to have a woods. ton of ribs. Because my neighbor is oh, my coworker. Oops. Oh, my nice. Like coworker, like he, I, he, he works from home just like I do, so I know he hasn't gone anywhere because he's because oh. he is fifty years old and doesn't want to die of COVID. I've got a relationships post about working from home, so okay, nice. we, can do it. we can get to it. No, I want to hear about your ribs experience. So I went over there at about eleven, um, and he had already sous vide the ribs, and we basted them and put them in the smoker for a couple of hours. Uh, we watched a movie called Ninja Assassin, which came out in around 2009. Um, I think I've heard of is, that being good. It is it is completely unremarkable, but the fight scenes are, are like like I can't name a single actor in it. Like, yeah, I looked up the box office and it was like budget 40 mil, uh, and 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 box office was 60 mil, so it made money. But like the name of it is Ninja Assassin. There's nothing about this movie you expect to be like. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be a commentary on a socio-political. Like, no, it's going to have a ninja in it, and he's going to be an assassin, and he's probably going to do some fighting other ninja assassins. It does that, it accomplishes that, and in that, I gotta say, it was a pretty good movie. Um, so after that was done, we ate ribs. They were fucking delicious. There's a picture of you them should- in the Hack Menu channel on our Discord. It was like yeah. it's pornographic. It the ribs. It's it's it was very good. Um, it looked beautiful. And and we also after we we got the ribs, we um we put some pork loins in the smoker. So he sent me home with a pork loin. And that's basically all I've eaten today is pork <laughs> loins. <laughs> I almost sneezed. I was really John has John has this uh, the Snapchat filter on right now, which is like weirdly motion like blurring its face. It's motion and tracking. My yeah. stream yeah. zoom. That yeah, and, you've probably and, seen uh, in like YouTube videos. Sneezed. And like earlier, he belched, and it was hilarious with the motion zoom. But a sneeze, I gotta think, would be just the top. I know. I actually felt the sneeze coming on. I switched back over to it because I didn't the, want to miss it. But that's the COVID coming on. Uh, yeah, well, I don't think COVID, COVID actually you makes you sneeze. Um, well, unfortunately, if you've ever been around me or knew me, I constantly sneeze all the time. So this is no different than normal. I made a pasta salad that I took over there. Um, wow! Oh, all, doing doing all of this, I was drinking pretty heavily. Um, yeah. We were doing shots, and I drank like nine beers. Nice, uh, fourteen beers of chili. I was I was pretty drunk, uh, but it's nice because if I got too turnt, I could just walk over to my house and I didn't have to yeah. drive. Um, that's the great part about drinking not in a bar is that yeah. if you're like, you can just go like, well, one of the greatest parts about my old apartment is that I lived like two blocks from a bar. So you could just drink at the bar and then just walk home. Wasted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, I made a pasta salad out of like uh chipotle peppers. So it was like a spicy pasta salad. That was pretty good. Um, yeah. So that was, that was a good experience. If I got COVID, I'll be fine because I'm 28 and he won't because he's 50. So it's not really my concern. Mm -hmm. Ouch. If I got COVID, I would die just because it's just, it would be the, it would be the luck of, 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 (laughs) of having to go to the fucking DMV. 
Yeah. You'd, you'd be that guy that they're digging up all the ironic Facebook posts about after you die. Oh my god, yeah. Except for that, unfortunately, I didn't post about it. Maybe I should start. No, but like you have these ironic posts where you're like making fun of anti maskers. Oh, that's and true. I'm just going to snip those out and, <laughs> and, and make it seem like that was your personality and then yeah. show your obituary. And, and then I'll make yeah. that a BuzzFeed article. Rename like John's Facebook account to like John's legitimate thoughts that he really thinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really makes you think man how the media treats people yeah i've heard that i've heard that the media they lie that's what yeah. i've heard yeah uh hillary lied people died more, more like killery yeah the other she... uh the other week when we skipped a week of podcasting because i was at places i went was a used bookstore and they had a little shelf that was their conspiracy section, and there was definitely a mysterious death of Vince Foster book in there. And I was like, "What is I, that?" Uh, that's the Clinton like killed during a robbery, like a mugging, and mm-hmm. then now it's this big right wing conspiracy that he was gonna like be a whistleblower on the Clintons, and they had him whacked. Oh yeah, yes, because the Clinton ha- Clintons had all these people murdered because yeah. that's what happened. And the family's like, please don't use our son's yeah, tragic you know, death. Yeah, that big mob family that was the governor of Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Not, not the actually had like dealings with uh, property in Vegas. A yeah, notoriously not, yeah, mob not guy, like connected not, thing. Not the guy who like the New Yorker lives in Manhattan, and his name is literally Don. No, that can't be it. It's got to be. It's it's got to be Bill. Well, it's the real Don Ad Trump. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> should go on that Twitter account right now and just hate read it. Oh, huh? are, are are you saying that I should make a real underscore Lance with no E underscore man? Real Lank man. <laughs> real Lank man. <laughs> God, uh, what is see. what is Twitter up to these days? A whole lot of nothing. There shouldn't be a second stimulus. The last time people got paid for doing nothing, they acted like fucking animals. Is that Lance? Oh, that was a Lance tweet. I know. Uh, I remember now, that one. I do Wait. know that every time anyone's ever been on Social Security, they turned into a complete animal. Is he? Is that his way of saying that the stimulus check was like responsible for the BLM protests? I think it's funny. I think it's funny that Lance is like poor and doesn't have a job and he's like don't give people free money i'm just a disgraced millionaire yeah yeah he's definitely yeah that, 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 that was like, a i think i posted that quote was that in there nothing but memes or no, i right? saw it somewhere probably yeah rants my, probably rants in my pants probably in a, that yeah it was the steinbeck quote yep. mm-hmm. uh, once socialism never took root in america because the poor see themselves not as the exploited proletariat but as temporarily embarrassed millionaires. And it's so true. Somebody posted another thing today on Twitter where it was uh, like one of those TikTok like side by side. And it was like a guy saying like, I make seven to five an hour, like all this stuff. Like I am the 99%, you know, like, you know, all this stuff. And this other guy said, I went to trade school. I do all this. I make a hundred thousand. I pay for your like fucking welfare and all this stuff. I'm the one percent. It's like, bitch, you ain't the one percent. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, yeah. you're just a regular ass person. You do. You do. People just don't understand this. Like, like billionaires should not exist. Period. Like, that's just mm-hmm. you shouldn't be able to get that much money. It's stupid. If Bezos it, didn't get divorced, he'd be closing in on a trillionaire too. I know. It's it's just it's, it's insanity it, it, that uh, capitalism is broken. Because you can't have it now. I'm glad I have the filter on that I have now because <laughs> this is, <laughs> is going to get me, uh, I don't know, put on something. But uh, Not fair. But, but capitalism is just broken. Like you can't, you can't make that much. It's just sucking wealth out of regular people's hands and putting it off where nobody can use it. It's insane. It's like a, it's, like, it's it's like a leech. Bootstraps. Oh, sure, God. bankers need to eat too, John. But again, like the bankers aren't the one percent. There's people that work at like you know local banks that are helping people get home loans. Hey, I'm a teller at the bank, and I am the one percent. And I'm tired of all these fucking welfare queens taking my tax money. 
It's so different. It's just different. There's a difference. Also, it's my birthday. I'm turning 35 and I'm running for the president of the United States. Please write me in uh, as a vote if you live in any state like Spanky's that is always definitely going to be red no matter what, how many people vote. Democratic. Yes. Uh, that you're reminds me. Mississippi, Alabama. For... He, like, here's, here's a list of states to vote for John in. Yeah. Florida, Pennsylvania, no. Michigan, no. Please, Wisconsin, God, no. I'm not Ohio, running I'm not North running Carolina. I'm going to say that it, if I become president, I will nuke every single one of those states. So don't vote for me if you're in one of those states. But if you hate those states because they're up in the north, they're the Yankee states, vote for me for president <laughs> and not Donald Trump. Because what's he going to do? Is he going to kill the Yankees? I don't think so. He's one of them. He's from New York. Uh, that no, doesn't the matter Yankees to you. are from Queens. No wait, the the Yankees are from Brooklyn, and oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and and the uh, the Mets no, are the from Yan- Queens. No, no, and he was born in Queens, so he's mm-hmm. he's a Mets fan. Okay, gross. You're a bit off there, but it's okay. I'm not the, off. The Yankees are not from Brooklyn. The Dodgers were from Brooklyn. Well, the well who were the from Yankees what? from? Manhattan. Whatever. What I meant the right, what I, 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 the Mets thing was right though. That is probably right. Yes, that does sound They're right. So he's definitely would be, he'd be a Mets guy. Let's see what what baseball team does Donald Trump like? You know, the he's win, the American of apple pie. That guy is. I'm sure he's way into baseball. No, it's Spanky nailed it. He likes whatever team won most recently. That it, it just blows my mind how you can have people that are like way into like sports and like all this shit and drinking and they want to vote for Donald Trump who is 100% not that guy. Yeah. Oh he, my he, god. He's famously a tea, teetotaler because yeah. his uh brother was an alcoholic and he saw it as weakness. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. We got sportscasting.com, Donald Trump's favorite sports teams. I want you to guess what New York baseball team he's a fan of. I would say probably the Yankees. It's the Yankees, 100%. Mm. I mean, they were the team that was extremely, like, on top of things in the, you know, what is it, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know, so of course. Uh, also the Mets, apparently. Uh, so I guess he's he likes both, I guess. Well, that's what I said. He was born in Queens, so he's a Mets uh-huh. guy. Uh-huh. Also, he just talks constantly, so at some point he said he likes both of those teams. Uh-huh. He also, in 2011, the Bernie Madoff case was looking like it could derail the New York Mets. Trump talked about stepping in and bailing out the club by buying them. Of course, he didn't have enough money to buy them because he doesn't have any money. But, <laughs> you know, he said he, talked he would. about it. Oh, he talked about it. So that people just assume because he so talks some, about it, he I've, would I've be seen able to. I've a few stories on like TMZ. I thought about whatever. buying the Mets too, guys. I definitely could have. I, I've seen a few stories on TMZ and stuff about like the, like in, in influencers that like use their influencer status to get one credit card and then max it out to buy like nice shit to use for collateral to get a nicer credit card. And just like use like the debt ladder to climb herself into like buying all this exorbitant like a lamborghini and shit like that but it's all on like the, it's like at the very root is the basis of like oh look here's my influencer i'm i'm a, i've got like x amount of whatever so i'm gonna go to a bank and get a personal loan and i'll use that as like my business that makes money and banks are full of old people who have no idea what the fuck that is so they assume it works i will say this that the NFL and the NFL Commissioner and Owners Association is the reason why the country is garbage now. Because in 2014, Donald Trump tried to buy the Buffalo Bills and wasn't allowed to buy the Buffalo Bills. I doubt he would be running for president if he owned the Bills. (laughs) He just had nothing to do with his time. So he wanted to buy the Bills and he was going to definitely move them, even though he said he wasn't going to move them. He 100% would move the team. Uh, and uh, they didn't let him have the team. So now he's president. So great. We had the distraction for him and he didn't because he loves football. Right? Yeah. He's he just tried to try like a, to buy a, like, a league man, in the yeah. early 80s that failed immediately. Right here. Yes. The New the Jersey XFL. Generals. <laughs> the USFL. Yeah. USFL. It died after like one season in the early 80s. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it was the XFL of its day. 
anyway. Um, he really yeah, so, should have uh, just wrestling promoter. Yep, he he could have done that too. Just anything but what he's currently doing. Or just continue being a TV clown. If there's anything I could do, I would go back to 2014 and I would go to Vince McMahon, who is the owner of WWE, and I'd say, you know what would be a fucking amazing idea? To give Donald Trump a permanent position on Friday Night SmackDown as the general manager character. Just yeah. do that right now yeah. and like give him a two-year contract that he can't get out of. I just, I don't, I just want to also point this out. Donald Trump was impeached, by the way. <laughs> we don't yeah. talk about this, but that happened this year. Yep. That was the beginning of this year. Yeah. That was like going to be the biggest news story of the year. And yeah. then everything COVID else happened. <laughs> oh my he, God. He's only he, like, what, the his... third president to ever be? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Or th- was it the, the third, third one in modern times? I think he's the well. I've, I'm going back to like the 1800s. I think he's the third one to be impeached and not removed. Mm. I believe we've got Clinton and like Woodrow Wilson or some shit like Nixon. that. Nixon. Nixon. Clinton, uh, Nixon wasn't Trump. impeached. No, there's only he was three. impeached. He wasn't removed yet. Um, so there were only he the resigned. Was like, no, nah, we're not siding up with you because impeachment is completely useless. There were three presidents that were impeached: Andrew Johnson, Bill Johnson. Clinton, and uh, Donald Trump. And there has never been a president that's been removed from office through impeachment. Because yeah. it's, it's just always impeachment. Been, it's impeachment is just yeah. Impeach is, impeachment is just the indictment part, and the removal is the uh, is the conviction. Well, it can it, the removal is the like sentencing basically. If you're going to compare it to a current, cr- cr- <laughs> so like. You can you can have all the evidence to find somebody guilty, and then like just half the sentence. Like, nah, we don't care. Yeah, yeah. politics is great, isn't it? Yeah, Bill Clinton was also impeached, but it didn't matter. Uh, and then don't Bill Clinton was impeached for the least impeachable thing out of any president, like a sex scandal that was no. Bad. He- he he was impeached for lying about the lying sex scandal. Um, yeah. like, he was not impeached for the sex scandal. You're right. He was impeached for a lot for perjury yeah. because he lied about for the sex perjury. scandal. Perjury. Something that the president has done many times. Yeah. <laughs> well, they specifically they, they, well, no, they, right. they don't let Trump testify right. under oath because Correct. they know yes. he'll perjure he himself. Refuses to because he definitely will perjure himself. Um but if he perjured himself, he wouldn't be removed anyway. Are you kidding me? No, it, 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 there's no consequences. Nixon no. resigned, of course. He he was impeached, but he resigned, or he wasn't impeached. He just resigned because yeah, he, it was because he was going because, to be because the House had the votes to impeach him, and the Senate Majority Leader Republican told him like, "Look, they're going to impeach you, and you have like three votes to like keep you. So it's going to be like impeached, and then like ninety-seven to three removal so you might as well resign and then he resigned hey guys oh remember remember pelosi clap remember that queen remember when george w bush was uh, facing impeachment uh uh by dennis kucinich uh charging bush with a high litany uh, litany of high crimes and misdemeanors including war crimes and the House voted 251 to 166 to refer the resolution to the House. But then uh, Pelosi was like, no, nah, he's not going to get impeached. Yay. That's a war criminal. Clap. Wow, yes, Queen. Fuck, God damn, I hate Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> but I am one. I'm a self-hater. God, it's just we just like, like that's the that's the secret, something. right? Democrats just, all hate themselves. We don't put our money where our mouth is. Yeah, that's what my- it is. I was talking with my boss about this once and it was something and I was like, this is funny because this has now happened, but um, this was like in 2017. I was like, if Ruth Bader Ginsburg dies, I think I'm just going to kill myself. And he said, do you want to know why the Republicans always win? It's because whenever Democrats are mad, they kill themselves. And when Republicans are mad, they kill other people. Yep. That's very true. You go to Kenosha with the high powered rifle and, uh, <laughs> Protect your business. 
protect your business, get a GoFundMe, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars page put up for you and have uh, people walking around t-shirts saying that you did nothing wrong. Murdering two people. Yay. <laughs> this has been I mean, a very like, before. podcast. I'm just saying, hey, well, but, look at but, what I'm wearing. But look at my Snapchat filter. Not, not, to get anybody's, not to get anybody's hopes up or anything, but like after Nixon, the whole Nixon thing, like that fucked Republicans over for decades. Uh, Jimmy that Carter happens again. Un- them. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, you, maybe okay, Trump I just gotta, is I just has say motivated so many people. No, it didn't because he was yeah. he resigned in 1973, and Reagan won in 1980, so it was seven years. Okay, well, a decade. The better part of a decade. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm just trying to find a fucking silver lining, okay? Maybe enough well, like yeah. now, voters are going to be like voting Democrat from now on. Here's the thing that's bad: there is a study of polls since they've started like me- measuring this since like 1970. Yeah. Of like, how do you feel about your party? And for both Republicans and Democrats, that stayed about 80 percent. Self-identified yeah. Republicans and Democrats have about an 80 percent approval rate of their own party, yeah. and then. Uh, they asked the the question, how do you feel about the opposing party? And for about like 30, 40 years, it stayed at around like 40%. And yeah. now it's at about 13%. Yeah. So like everyone hates each other more than yeah. they ever have before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, Matt, do you want to know another awesome fact? Mm, that a, is uh, it going to make me Rep- sad? No, that a uh, Re- Republican um, candidate for president... Uh, uh, for a first term Republican candidate for president has never won the popular vote since 1988. Oh, God. Yay. Why do we George have the Electoral Bush. College? The only one that won the popular vote. George W. Bush won the popular vote, I believe. Did he, though? The time. But, uh, but he was uh, an incumbent, of course. Um, yeah, it's insanity that <laughs> we've had two uh, Republican presidents that have not won the popular vote yet become president because our system is fucked up because we cater to uh, battleground states only, basically. It's, it's oh man, I could just rant about this for hours and I'm not going to. Let's talk about working from home and a Reddit ship I found. Okay. Ding, ding. Let's, let's, let's get mad about a person and their couple's relationship yeah. and not about let's things we absolutely... Existential rage about. against a specific person and or group of people. And then... I already and- voted. I uh, I uh, swallowed the bitter pill named Joe Biden <laughs> and voted. Where the f- uh, the fucking god damn it! So my 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 across the road neighbor who has like the Blue Lives Matter flag and the uh, the like don't tread on me flag has put up a Donald Trump uh, uh, yard sign in his yard, uh-huh. and I'm really thinking about getting a um, Joe Biden. A yard sign, except for they're twenty dollars and twenty cents. Why are so, they so expensive? So I bought one uh, on uh, mid uh, late October because everyone else in my neighborhood has one, and I want to have one up so that people don't think that I support Donald Trump because I just yeah. don't want my neighbors thinking that about me. My yeah. neighbors that I talk to know, obviously, I don't, but. Uh, you know, there's other ones that I think might just give me a side eye because I don't have it. So I wanted to get one because they're 20 bucks. I'll donate 20 bucks to the fucking campaign, whatever. Like I've never donated to a presidential campaign before this year, but I'm going to now because God damn it. The world's a nightmare. Um, you didn't give your $27 to Bernie in 2016. That's I why didn't. he fucking lost John. Well, he, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really like Bernie Sanders uh, that much. It's because uh, he's a goddamn communist and you- no, it's because he's very lax on gun control and a lot of other things that are pretty bad. But let's not think about the things that he has flaws with that that, that are, are, are obvious. But um, uh, no, uh, so I ordered a sign, and uh, they it's let me let me go on the, the website and let's see here when it let's well, let's see it's been shipping to me since uh, middle of, of September. I think I'm like you can just go to like to your local like Democrat office. Yeah, let me just go outside during COVID. To the Democrat office? Like, look, if anyone's wearing masks, as a fuck you to Trump, it's the Democrat right, office. Let me look at the status of my order. Oh, Team Joe store. I got to sign in to see. Oh, good. A password. You're going to get emails forever. 
from <laughs> buying something from teamjoe.com. I don't, I, what? No, just show me the status of my order. I want to know where it is. Where's the tracking number? And I that's didn't. who you want to be in charge of this country, John? I know. Tax Joe to 303. You should get one of those fly swatters. Oh, my God. A fly swatter. Remember when Pence had a fly on him? Nah. Uh, the world's a nightmare. <laughs> You know what that debate? Forever. That b- debate was like a really comforting throwback, though, because it's like, well, oh it yeah, like this is debate. this is how politicians lied to us before Trump. They had the decency to be fucking boring about it. Yeah. Okay, I've got to reset my password to store.joebiden.com. Okay, and what's your username? I don't fucking know. It's just my email address. They don't have usernames. John underscore danger at uh, fucking Joe Biden sucks my toes dot info. Yeah. Oh. AOC sucks my toes dot info. No, you suck AOC's, AOC's toes. I seriously think Red I just... pedicure. I, <laughs> I, I, do, I, do, I do seriously think that when I purchased a sign off their website... It just disappeared. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. wait, no. Hello, Bro, John. You're pretty bad with technology. You probably were just like, are you sure you want the sign or you just want to donate the money? And you click oh, no, no, the donate right. the money button. Guys, my, my order status has changed on Saturday, September 26th, which was uh, like 10 days after I ordered the sign. Um, it's in tra- Oh, it's ac- it actually is. No, is it in transit? Here we go. September 26th, shipping label created USPS awaiting item. All the way up to October 7th, after I emailed complaining that for some reason it's still not here yet, um, it says accepted at USPS origin facility in Austin, Texas. uh, And it says uh, uh, departed the USPS regional facility on the 7th, Austin, Texas. And then on October 10th, 12 a.m., which is not even now yet. No, it was this morning. Yeah. Uh, 12 a.m. It says, in transit, arriving late. So maybe I'll get it. I. Uh, it sounds to me like this whole postal service system's not working out for you. So what I'm telling Have you, you considered changing parties? Is that if you want to get a Joe Biden sign, by the time it gets to you, the election will have already happened. So yard signs happens. don't fucking do shit. Like, what do you think that's going to convince somebody to switch to your side? Convince my neighbors that I don't suck. That's the only reason I'm getting it. Do your neighbors not already way. know that you don't suck? They do, I, but not people that I haven't met. A There's Joe Biden yard sign is just John's HOA. Yeah, basically, I need to have it to keep up it's appearances. Like, well, you you got to keep your grass between two and three inches long, and you've got to here's sign. Make sure that's prominently di- uh, displayed. What if, also, so, here, optionally, here's a, song, a sign about all the things we believe in this household. Yes. Spanky, as a young homeowner, Spanky young homeowner, what is what is the worst household chore that you have to do owning a house so far? You haven't had a winter yet, I suppose. Do you get winter in there? In the, so in the, the south? Worst... Yeah. Missouri has some pretty crazy winters. Um so the worst chore, so and I, and I would say, one, I don't have a dog, so I don't have, like, you know, dog tracks, all, and, and I don't have a wife or a roommate or anything, so it's just me. So well, I, don't I, like, I do all of it anyway, too, so don't tell my wife. So, 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 like, honestly, my least favorite chore is probably weed eating, but I don't have to do a lot of it. Um, I like the weed eating because I love the the spinning blade of death that you use to kill weeds. And see, no, I like lawn mowing, like actually like pushing like mower, mm-hmm. because it's like yeah. it's like taking a walk, but I I did a chore at the same time. Yeah, so I get like, that's, that's, that's happy because it's like a weekly workout that I get. And I, like, I guess like if you just go with chores, I'd say washing the dishes. I guess. Yeah, but, but that's that, not- I, that's even in uh, the apartment that yeah. you know that's not a homeowner specific thing though. No, I just hate washing dishes. It's a piece. It's a piece of shit. Raking leaves is the worst. The motion of raking leaves, the like just trying to pick them all up and dropping a bunch of leaves everywhere, just sucks. Okay, I have a question. So, as a non-homeowner, 
Um, why why don't you just run over them with the the lawnmower and then so let I, that like become fertilizer? So, I do that now because I bought a lawnmower that's capable of doing that. It has lawnmower I have is a fancy one. It's got two blades that spin opposite from each other, and so it mulches up the leaves into tiny little pieces. But there's so much leaves that it would it would over fertilize my lawn. So I have to do it like halfway mulch and half bag and that's a good amount but i still have to empty the bag when i mow probably like well just just in the fall i full mulch all summer but when i got leaves i still have to empty the bag like probably 10 15 times while i'm mowing because there's so many leaves and it's way better than right. I don't know. it I don't sounds like- to me like you just need to get some more worms in that lawn and break <laughs> down the leaves faster just go to a bait shop and just fucking buy and dump Hell it yeah. in your lawn. So I haven't done very much raking. I, I mean, I've got trees and I've got leaves falling, but I haven't done very much raking because I live in the in in the county. I don't live in the city limits, so I kind of don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about my yard. And there's no ordinance about the leaves at all. Now, what I do do, so I I, I have a burn barrel because I am a redneck, so I burn shit all the time. Oh, yeah, um, with barrel, but. I think our project next summer is going to be we have an old fucking rusty swing set that's ancient and terrible that doesn't mm-hmm. work and it's all backed up. It's got to be like it's concreted in. It's got to get ripped out and it's going to take a lot of effort. But in that area of the lawn, I want to have like a fire pit so I'll be able to burn shit. Like I just want to have like a I can throw sticks and twigs and maybe cardboard boxes and shit in there and burn it. Yeah. Um, so I burn shit all the time, so much so that my neighbor whose house I went to yesterday has called me before, and he's like, uh, is your fire under control? Because I let it get really big one time. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like, ah, like, this yeah, is fine. I, I, fine. I, I, just I, got control. I, got it, I let it get pretty fucking huge, and it was really cool. And he's like, don't do that. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so I don't really rake. Like my whole, I don't like as a chore rake my whole yard. When I burn stuff, I just rake in like a twelve by twelve grid around the burn barrel, so like there's not dry leaves around it. And then I throw that into the burn barrel. I see. So that's a, that's about it for my raking habits. They make like lawn vacuum cleaners for leaves that you can attach to like a riding lawnmower, and then mm-hmm. just sucks the leaves up into a thing. That seems really cool. But, yeah, but they're also $3,800. Oh, yeah, no, no, for sure. I don't have that kind of money. But that's why I bought the $600 lawnmower, the push lawnmower, because it's pricey, but it does makes it so I don't have to fucking rake anymore. I just have to. My lawnmower money. costs like $80. Well, my first one was free for the first like year and a half. So, like, I feel like I, I was deserved of a lawnmower that made me not hate mowing. So my lawnmower is a man that comes around every once in a while. And he comes super early and it wakes you up and you're pissed. Uh, well, I do not early, wake up. It's because they jack off too much. <laughs> what? I said when men come early, it's because they jack off too much. Oh, no, no, that's like the opposite. You got to get the easy one out first. If you uh, much, then you start to build up those dick calluses. Yeah, exactly. No, that's when you're out with a hot girl. You got to get the easy one out in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's just fucking what? taking his headphones off. <laughs> it's true. You get the easy one out. It is true. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so let's talk about working from home, which I think Spanky uh, and uh, and I are both doing. Mm. TJ kind of works from home. Well, well, I'll be I'll be training from home starting. Uh, oh, Monday. Yeah. I forgot. What, what's, what's that new job again? H and R Block. I'm gonna cut you off, and then I'm gonna talk. Oh damn! Good job. I was trying to cut you off. You it, fucked up, John. He answered answer the question so quickly. He's gonna be a tax man. So TJ is going to be a tax man. Well, I applied. Well, I, I had an interview for another job man. a couple days ago, and I applied <laughs> to something else too. <laughs> oh, you know what? You may become a tax man. We'll see. Um, so. Uh, Relationships that text. My wife and I have been together my whole adult life. Oops, sorry. My wife. Ooh, my wife. I gotta get yep, 38F is extremely resentful with how little I work. 38M. So we've got a, a equal age couple here. Me and my wife. My wife. My wife. Have been together my for my whole adult life. Honestly, my wife. It's a pretty weird marriage. 
We help each other when the opposites down, are attracted to one another, keep the flame going. It's a partnership I truly believe nothing can get in the middle of. But lately, I'll admit there's been some sort of serious strain, in part due to the coronavirus. So when the whole COVID situation popped off, my, me and my wife were lucky enough to basically be switched to complete work from home. We ha both have, albeit small, some office spaces, and my kids are uh, our high school age, so they don't really cause too much drama. All in all, pretty ideal situation, which I'm extraordinarily grateful for. The problem started when my wife was noticing I had far too much idle time. I would go play lots of tennis, go running with my son, build crafts and pottery or do chores slash cook since I was now at home for the whole day. At the start of the pandemic, she would occasionally prod me with, don't you have work to do? And I always say, no, not really. Uh, don't you, don't you, uh, and then go on with my day. She would also notice me, my home office goofing around, stock trading or playing my electronic drum set and be baffled at my sheer amount of free time. So finally, my wife sat me down and asked me straight up, why do you never seem to have any work you need to do? She was worried I was unemployed. I told her, I don't really have any work or at least nothing serious, usually like an hour a week. God, why is it there's so many guys, this is because capitalism is broken. You have people like this guy just backing into a job, making likely close to six figures, I'm assuming at age 38, um, uh, you know, prime earning ages, uh, doing literally nothing. You know, because I'm sure he's in middle management somewhere. I haven't read this whole thing, but um, I told her I don't really have any work. Uh, when I was asked uh, what I did back when we were in the office, I told the truth, which is not much. Yeah. Talk to coworkers, walk around, make phone calls or read. She's taken aback, aghast, and took a really long time, like three days to process the implications of that. She's always known my career is easier than hers. She's a typical high strung, very career ambitious person. And as long as I kept shouldering a little bit more of the household management, it was never a problem until COVID. Once she processed the information that I've basically been goofing off for my entire career, not my whole career, but you know, the last six years or so, she was furious. Whenever we would talk about work in the past, it was always just say nothing if I did nothing at work. Uh, we don't really talk about work because her job is stressful and mine's boring. But she didn't think I meant nothing as literally as, the, as I did. I never lied. But whenever we would say, I don't do shit at work, she never grasped the full extent of that which to be fair in her is a hard thing to grasp until you're looking at it every day. So now I'm at an impasse. My wife is more and more resentful as the day goes by <laughs> how I'm living a carefree, <laughs> easy life quote, <laughs> uh, which to be fair, my job is easy as hell, but I'm always trying to shoulder the burden of household management because of that fact. Lately, she's confronted me about the fact that my job shouldn't be so easy and we need to have a deep discussion of how I need to step it up at work and my lack of ambition. Uh, which I'm open to talking about, but I honestly feel like ambition might not be the issue here. I have, I have kids. Wait a minute. Wait for the bomb. He, did you hear that? With with another woman. Bomb's about to drop. No, no. Uh, I'm not too open talking about her. Honestly, I feel like ambition might not be the issue. I've I have kids. A few rental properties. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 we got a it. landlord and training boys. Oh, God damn it. So yeah. he, spent, he's, he like, has me until then. Now he's definitely the asshole. Futzing around stock trading apps, too, is a little bit of a, a, a little yeah. bit of a, 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 an early warning sign. Um, anyway, uh, um, I have the kids, a few rental properties. I'm interested in plenty of stuff. I just don't really don't really like working at my current job. Um, if they would pay me for not working, it strikes me as a too perfect scenario just to be willy nilly and pass up over principle. I agree with this. If they're going to fucking yeah. give you this job where you don't have to work very hard and you're making good money, that's fine. Your wife should be my wife. Not, I mean, I understand because she's probably working her ass off. And Look, you're not working your ass off and you're sharing finances. And she's like, you basically don't work. And I have to fucking be a slave to capitalism. It sounds and like she's just it yeah yeah um anyway but the the landlord thing really really gets me uh uh gets my hackles up and i'm like oh so that's what this guy does um well that sounds so, like it's quote unquote side that's not his like real job any ideas on how to mend this fence i have i have suggested therapy and she thinks the issue lies more with me what is the source of this resentfulness might be coming from? Personally, I think her issue is coming from the fact that her life is genuinely hard. She works hard, has a challenging career, is a mother of two. I do what I can to take on a more house husbandy role, but at the end of the day, our kids 
a high school age now, and she's probably just jealous that my career really isn't to burn the candle at both ends lifestyle. Interested to hear opinions too. I agree. I, I really dislike people that think that someone who, I mean, obviously he has a bit far on one scale of work-life balance, but there yeah. are people that just are like, Oh, you got to be fucking hustling all the time. There's no work-life yeah. balance. And you should have a job that has a good work-life balance. Obviously this job does not, is not calibrated correctly. And there is some levels of management that have allowed something like this to slip through the cracks where they're paying, paying that guy. Um, but um, let's, uh, let's, let's, I gotta go. say as, as a person myself who like specifically has a job where like very little is required of me, there's no ladder to climb at all. Never going to make a lot of money, but I have benefits and it's stable. I'll never get fired. Like, I totally understand the whole, like, I don't want to be the person who busts my balls all day long to, like, climb the ladder and get bonuses and get raises and, like, you know, be stressed out. I I get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So as Mm -hmm. much as I hate him for being a landlord who fucks around on stock market apps all day long for for fun, I I still kind of agree with his, like, general attitude toward having a job. Yeah. Definitely. The only reason you should him. be like working ass off is if you're like working for yourself. Like, yeah, I don't understand why anybody would like just just completely like, oh, well, devote work. their I life to somebody else's profit. So money. the boss can make a dollar. Yeah, it's fuck. It's dumb. Like, boss doesn't give a shit about you. Why? Why would you be? like stressing yourself out for them i I just want to mention being in my like friend circle from people that i went to high school with that are like you know the same roughly the same age as me maybe in the same similar financial situation college graduate working your own your your first post-college job um this is this guy is in this situation right now like i'm in this guy's situation other than the fact that my job actually is challenging and i feel like i do I'm engaged at work and I actually enjoy my job. Um, he obviously doesn't care about that, but um, uh, let's, I, I, he has a couple of responses that were highlighted here. Um, so uh, he said, um, uh, his goal for the last 10 years, to be honest, and uh, as a result of see, I spend a good slice of my free time now. Uh, I find something a lot more gratifying every time I buy and fix up a new property rather than just sitting in the office. Um, and I love this response. The guy's like, lol, I bet, lol, I can't wait to get mine up and running. This is this fucking landlord culture that, like, our, I think, I, honestly, is a millennial thing. Yeah. Is that, like, it is are, It like, is a huge bubble, too. It is going to pop. It really is. And he's like, it's going to be a blast. Rates are so good right now. I started with an FHA. So it's a uh, that's a a government-backed loan that he's getting. So he's, he's so when these people. Socialism. Exactly. Are complaining about that? And it's like you're using fucking government welfare programs to get your loan. Uh, an FHA on a duplex I lived in part of back in the day. I've been riding that train ever since. So he basically owned a duplex, or at least part of it, or bought the other half, and now is renting it. You know, because he's moved to New York. So rather than selling it, he just rents it. Um, there can be a lot of issues, but as long as you're smart, it feels good to be providing tenants with a solid place to live. Now, I will say there are landlords that aren't trash. Yeah. But I would say also, the, the majority are trash. How do I get that? <laughs> I, I would describe how it do as I get anyone that who self identifies with the word landlord yeah. is definitely yeah. trash. If you call yourself a lord, people, you're a psychopath. Yeah. Like the people who call themselves a landlord, all trash. The, the remaining people who own and rent property, about 70% are trash. And then the remaining 30% of people who don't identify as landlords and do rent property are probably at least partially okay. <laughs> Nobody who owns an apartment complex is good, though. They can no, no. Themselves. But so, how do I mm-hmm. get that free government loan? To, I mean, you could to man. be a landlord. I no, can be a landlord. So, well, honestly, okay, so I could lord not, over some. You, I don't think you're allowed to use FHA loans for not uh, original home, uh, which is what he's talking about. But but you can use an FHA loan to purchase your first home, buy it off, and then use it as a rental property. Yeah, you just but, basically have to refi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. exactly. And then, can, and then I guess, like, if I'm a landlord, then when the king is going to start a war, I have to donate, like, some of my serfs. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh, 
That's only if you're a land duke. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a duke. Big well, pile the thing of is duke. Too, the thing is, too, is that, like, there, and the thing that bothers me about this, there are definitely people, and I've worked with people in the past, that, like, that, like are very, like, maybe not necessarily type A, but people that work really hard and are concerned with whether or not you're working as hard as they are. You know, and they'll, like, try and... Like be so involved. I've got like, there's a good way like, for me to for me to describe it because like I've got a coworker who's like, man, I'm I'm doing all this work and this guy I'm working with is doing nothing. I'm pissed off. Whereas I do the exact opposite thing. I'm like, this person ain't doing shit. I'm fucking not doing shit. <laughs> like they want to like bring people up to their level, whereas I am just volunteering myself to go down to their level. Yeah. I'm like, no, if you ain't doing shit, I'm going to spend the exact same amount of time not doing shit as you are, because like, that's awesome. Oh, wait, oh, is that where the floor is? All right, let's go hang out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Like, I am, I am, I am in a race to the bottom myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's like this, it's like a, you know, it's like being a, so we're all like rats in the capitalism rat race right now. And it's like, some rats are like striving and struggling to get all the way up to the fucking top where the best cheese is. And there's rats like me and, you know, most of the people I know that just kind of sit back and they're like, I'm happy with the cheese I get here. Like, yeah, whatever. And then those other people are like, fuck you. You should be doing all this terrible shit that I'm doing. That's what everyone should be striving for. And it's like, no, man, that's, that's not that, what you need to be doing with your life. It, it's the, people, it bucket yeah, thing it's it's yeah. when you have a bucket full of crabs you don't have to put a lid on it because as soon as they try to climb up the others will pull them back down trying to climb up and what we yep. should really be doing is flipping over the goddamn bucket that's right fuck capitalism fuck the bucket exactly fuck the bucket for, the vote, fuck vote it for, can we start the mis oh, can we start the mr bucket party what Let's start the Mr. Bucket what's party. The, what's the Green Party's guy named this year? It's like Howie Long, but not the Raiders defensive player. I, I didn't even know Howie the Green Long. Party was still around after Jill Stein. Yeah. All right, so hey. I've got I, I've got a really great relationship that isn't a uh, couple's relationship, but just a great story. Okay. okay. Three weeks ago, I went to visit my friend Alice. And during my visit, Mary and a friend of Alice's came unexpectedly over. Mary and I started a conversation. So this is the friend of her friend. Uh, 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 and Mary asked me what my cultural ethnic background was. And I explained that I was Ethiopian. Mary seemed really happy to hear this and confirmed. Oh, like the she, coffee. No, what she believed I was. We talked about how she spent time in Ethiopia for some outreach program when she was younger and how much of an impact uh, the people, culture, and traditions had on her. Uh, she then told me that the locals named her Yema Yem, Yem, Yema Yema Yemechi because that means beloved one. And oh, that she no. loved the name so much that she was named after her new she named her new modern daughter it. Now I love the type of person who's like the white person that goes over to fucking Africa in their like high school or college yeah. is like, I made a real you know what? I didn't make a difference on them. They made a difference on me, you know, is what mm -hmm. they're saying. And it's just like, okay, mm -hmm. well, you just had a nice trip where you got to visit a new place and feel better than everyone else. Um, anyway, <laughs> I asked her if she was serious. She told me she was. Um, Yema Yemechi, correct spelling, is some insane non-Arabic characters because it's Ethiopian. And the closest English spelling is uh, Yema Yemechi, which is all one word. Um, so she is mostly spelled it correct. Uh, does not mean beloved one in uh, Amharic, uh, which must be the uh, Ethiopian language. Um, it actually means uncomfortable slash inconvenient slash imbecile, depending <laughs> on how you use it. it. Basically means idiot. Yeah. Uh, so I told her <laughs> the true meaning. Mary is now very angry with me and refuses to accept that she named her child an unpleasant slash offensive name. Mary left Alice angry and is now upset with me for hurting Mary's feelings and feels I shouldn't have told her. I do feel bad. She seemed genuinely hurt by it. 
and I don't know what to do or to fix Mary's feelings. How do I fix? This? I don't know. You now people get a fucking Chinese character yeah. tattooed on their arm, and they don't understand the language, and it says like "eat butt" or something. When they think it means like it's usually unity. chicken fried noodle or something like that. Yeah. Don't name your kid after like from a language that you're not fucking fluent in. Like yeah. So anyway, I love this. Where or that's like not a language that is like everyone knows, so they can they can because like. If you if you put amour on you, like everyone knows that's love in French, mm-hmm. or if or you know like what? Diablo means fucking uh, um, Diablo means devil in Spanish, like you can do those, but don't do just like oh this is no one I know speaks this, and I'm just gonna put this on my body and then I'm gonna go to fucking. Lucy's Chinese food and and laundromat to get dinner one day and notice that that they've got right next to the chicken fried rice they've got the word that means love and honor and I gotta tell them about that like hey look you've made a typo here this actually doesn't mean chicken fried rice this means love and honor yeah (laughs) I like the idea that the menu is wrong (laughs) yeah well, that's the white people thing to do. It's like, um, actually, you've made a typo here on your menu. Um, uh, I have this tattoo, so I know it means love and honor. It's and not part of my rights. body. I, I went down to Mexico down in 1996, and uh, everyone down there kept saying, uh, no entiendo, which must mean I, I love your hair. So I got that tattooed on my arm, no entiendo. I took a cruise and got these aids. And they're part of me now. <laughs> I honestly don't know how she would have known this, though, because, like, searching this term... Let me just get this. Uh, Yema Yemechi. This is a... I mean, the thing is that... Okay, here we go. Okay, because I, I used Google Translate and it wasn't coming up. Oh, it's because I, because I'm using her bastardized version of it. It's all one word. So let me go to Google Translate and see. Because using Google Translate, I didn't find it. Um, and I'm doing it in America. Nothing shows up. Uh, so I don't know. Um, but I'm actually reading an article from a website that, that goes into deeper focus. on. It's called thefocus.news. It's an opinion. But this guy found a, a dictionary from Ethiopia to look it up. Um, and... Uh, it reiterates as a single word. There's no real equivalent word in English. She says, uncomfortable, inconvenient, imbecile. He says, the Abyssinica Dictionary gives the following translations. Uneasy, cumbersome, inconvenient, <laughs> unfavorable, or unfavorable to life or growth, or inhospitable. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there's more mysteries to this because there's, there's a, a, a fluent speaker of Amharic who says, why are they calling her Yemich, an explicitly masculine form of the word? Wouldn't it be Yemtimech? It's not even a believable mistake. No native speaker would make this mess this up. Um, anyway, uh, so this is probably fake is, is what I'm getting out of this. And, and that makes sense. And that's the thing with these Reddit chips. They're, they're, you know, like I got to expect 90% of the fake. This is a throwaway account, you know. Um, but uh, that's such a, like a volunteer. And then this whole article talks about like volunteerism where it's just like people that go and like, I made a big change out of her on fucking, you know, wherever it is. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's uh, not real. Um, you know, I picked so. weeds in the opium fields. Yeah. Yeah. That, mm. that, 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 it, you know, those kids in uh, Mexico really taught me a lot, you know, when I built them their school, you know, it's that, oh my God. Um, anyway, and the only reason I bring this up is because if you search that word, that, the whatever this fake ass, Yema, 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 Yeah. If you search that on Google, the only things that come up are referencing this Reddit post. Which is, I mean, fine. I don't, I mean, there could be fucking weird. You have to go uh, to Ethiopia and Google. Yeah. I got, yeah. Is there an Ethiopian Google? Uh, but I will say that if you do look up that, it says, it just means the English, tra- oh yeah, here, I found a dictionary. It, this says uncomfortable. 
So, I mean, you can imagine this lady was just like, yeah, being, I mean, that's a thing. Fuck, dude. No, I can't stop hey, thinking did you about guys this. Know? I can't stop thinking about this Ethiopian restaurant that used to be in town here. It was oh, yeah. delicious. Like, yeah. it was all beef and bread and shit. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fucking dipping bread. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I so, have a relationships. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I just want to say, before we get to yours, um, so there was this time when uh, I had a friend that went down to Mexico, right? And her friend went out on a date with this guy, and, you know, and he gave him his number. And then um, it turned out that that guy was actually a cannibal. Mm-hmm. And then I've never heard this story before. Him. So it's definitely a real story. <laughs> it's just like, you know, like these are not, you know what I mean? This, yeah. this reeks like that to me, but I wanted to bring it up too, because like the volunteerism thing just gets me so much mm-hmm. like, Oh my God, dude, you didn't like, you didn't change the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's also the dumb shit to think that like someone going over at 19, helping like build a well for an Ethiopian villages is like changing the world. When you have Jeff Bezos could end world hunger tomorrow if he wanted to, Yeah, but he does. It just reminds- because why would he? I, w- I went to um, to Botswana a few years ago, and mm-hmm. on the plane ride back, the two groups of people I remember were the missionaries and yeah. the like tourism hunters. I was yeah. just like, I fucking hate all of you. Yeah, well, like Botswana is like the jar- like if you want to see the fucking animals, like that's the savannas and shit, right? Like Botswana's got a lot of that. Uh mm-hmm. they've I'm- got. Not but jungle, but like they've got a lot of game reserves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Like safari, oh, like it's a big oh, safari destination. Oh, so that's where I want to go if I want to hunt a lion. Uh, yeah, I don't. Actually, know. Actually, I think Botswana is pretty strict about that kind of thing. Yeah, probably. You might need to go to a different country, a different. Uh, you have to go to like uh, fucking Senegal or, or yeah. no, Som- Somalia. Is it the one yeah, where they don't have an actual don't government? Got a lot of laws. Yeah. Literally, like Somalia, I think is an anarchy state. And yeah, it has been for years. That's where all them pirates come from with the Tom Hanks and stuff. Uh, what is it? Uh, lion hunt. What was the lion that was killed? Daniel the lion? Cecil the lion. <laughs> Cecil the killed lion. Killed by Walter Palmer, DDS. I wonder how his dental business is doing. Uh, he's probably fine because people have probably already forgotten about that because the world's a nightmare. Yep. <laughs> and it's, there's much worse things happening. There. On 6 September 2015, Palmer said he would return to his Zimbabwe practice on 9 September and that he had not, be, not been charged in the United States or Zimbabwe with any crime related to Cecil's killing, nor had he been contacted by any authorities. However, he had previously been convicted of fish and game violations in Minnesota. On 12 October, Zimbabwe government officials said Palmer's papers were in order and Palmer would not be charged with any crime. They said he was free to return to Zimbabwe as a tourist, but not as a hunter. Cool. So he got what he deserved. Nothing. Um, I found this on... It's a relationships, but I found it on the Today I Fucked Up Reddit. Oh, nice. Um, Let's say I so, fucked up. It says, today I fucked up by demanding that my girlfriend showed me where she buried our beads in the woods, causing her to break up with me. Wait, hold up. Hold. Did we I do admit, this on I posted. I admit I posted a version of this on the relationship subreddit the other day, but they mm-hmm. closed it with no explanation. I assume because they had just decided it was fake. I can see how they might think that, but this is a true thing that happened and is happening, and now there is more to it because I actually got broken up with over it. With all that is going on, we had stocked up on supplies, including some canned goods. I ordered a few weeks ago 30 cans of beans. 10 are black beans, 10 are kidney beans, and 10 are pink beans. Also, I ordered 15 cans of chickpeas. I thought this is a reasonable amount of beans and and chickpeas to have every now and then and would last for quite some time. However, earlier this week, I opened the cabinet because I wanted to make a vegetarian chili using two cans of beans. But all of the beans were gone. What the hell? I asked my girlfriend, and she told me she buried all of the beans in the woods. At first, I thought she was joking. But she explained to me, no, she had buried the beans in the woods. What the fuck? I asked her to explain, and she told me she was afraid that if things get bad, we might have to worry about 
looters or whatever, and that the beans would be in danger of being stolen. I said I thought this was completely ridiculous and unlikely. She became angry at me and said she is protecting our beans. According to her logic, the beans are safely buried in the woods behind our apartment complex. And if we ever need some beans, she will go to the stash and dig up a can or two. But we pref- but would prefer if we save them f- all for if things get worse. I said, why only bury the beans? Why not bury our more valuable items? She said the canned food was the most valuable for long-term means. <laughs> and that wrong. since we get fresh food in our online grocery deliveries, it would make sense to continue to stockpile beans. She intends to go bury more beans in the woods every single week. This was too insane for me, and I got very upset. I demanded to know where the beans were buried, and she refused to tell me. She said if I knew she was going, she said said if I knew, she was afraid I'd dig them up. I said, damn right I would. She said, I will never jeopardize the beans. The following day, I tried to put my foot down, and I'm not usually. And there were beans everywhere. I'm not usually a foot downer, but there are rare issues where compromise is out of the question. And I foolishly decided this was one of those issues. I demanded to know where the beans were buried. And I told her if she was going to bury beans I paid for in the woods that I would move out. We fought about it and I kept insisting. In hindsight, I should have just let it go and created my own hidden stash of beans in the apartment. And given her time to cool down about this bean burying scenario, scenario, but I blew it all out of proportion. I blew it all out of proportion. Yeah, it's weird to bury beans in the woods, but why did I have to press it? What's the harm at the end of the day? In the grand scheme of things, but I kept demanding her to take me to the beans or at least draw me a map or something. And finally, she broke up with me over the beans. I have lost the love of my life because I couldn't let the damn beans go. I am in disbelief. She moved out. Not only am I heartbroken, but I am now paying full rent instead of 50%, which is a huge financial issue for me. Too long to not read. I kept demanding that my girlfriend show me where she buried the beans in the woods, and she got so angry at me that she ended our relationship and moved out. My heart is shattered, and my finances are jeopardized because of a bean hoard. That is the most fucking perfect. I have nothing I, to add. I don't. I honestly don't think that there's anything I can say about that other than you know. Uh... So, what would you bury in your what? Do, what... Nothing. Why would I day. bury something? What is I do like I'm on day preppers, and there's people who's like scared of looters and wind society, just you know, falls or whatever, and they build bunkers and everything. Yeah. But like <laughs> this, this lady lives in an apartment complex. The woods they're talking about are probably just like some green space behind a storage unit or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like. And, and let me tell you something. I've dug holes before. My first job was like digging graves. It's not easy to dig hole to bury a can of beans. You've yeah. got to dig a decent hole because you got to like cover up the beans. Yeah. But to do it for thirty cans of beans, that's what if, a huge fucking hole? What if she bought like a post hole digger and they're all in little individual bean sized holes? So she used the post hole digger to dig like for each can. Yeah. Like, Here's one can. Here's the. There'd be a lot of of like mounds because you know you're adding a a can of beans worth of mass. No, to you the smuggle hole. the dirt out in your pocket. In your prison pants have a have yep. holes in the pockets, and then when you get out onto the yard, you dump it through your pants. Okay. That's how I do it. If I yeah bean heist I. It, to me, the most like if I was a looter and I broke into someone's house and, and like society has fallen and I'm just I've just into someone's apartment. First of all, I wouldn't go to someone's apartment because poor people live in apartments. I would go to someone who has a fucking like garage that looks like it has a pantry in it. And I'd steal all their shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think I'd go for 30 cans of beans. They're heavy. These are these is soup for my family. Yeah, I was gonna you know? say you could use them as a weapon. 
<laughs> it's food and a weapon, and you need both it's in just, the apocalypse. It's just soup for my family. It's not a weapon. It's soup for my family. It's God. soup for my family. How many <laughs> for my family? I just love that because who the fuck talks like that, you know? Yeah. Like, who says the sentence, soup for my family? Yeah. And because probably of the, the way he person. talks, he has to say it like 35 times. Well, it's probably because someone offhand said that to him, so he has to reiterate it a thousand times. Even though and it it's not like even like someone who did it. it no. It, it's, it's like someone on Fox News invented the scenario. Yeah. yeah. It's soup for my family. Anyway, yeah. The, so the, I'm just saying, if you're going to go out there and, you know, riot against the police, don't bring bricks, bring cans of soup, because you can throw a can of soup and it hits people just as hard as a brick. Yeah. Uh, and then but if they catch stopped, you, you can just say, it's, it's soup, soup for my, my family. family. It's, it's just soup bricks for my, for my family. I'm on the Reddit thread. <laughs> it's just bricks for my house that I'm building. I'm on the Reddit top comment yeah. is you should go to r slash metal detecting and see if there's anyone in your area dm me <laughs> if you're near denver i'll find those yeah, fucking right. beans let me get them beans you know at the very least you can get the beans back um i lost the love of my life it was beans i lost those beans i loved them yeah that was the love of his life was the beans <laughs> <sighs> anyway um i uh I, I love I love beans. I love beans. Do you like beans? My wife hates beans. Beans are chickpeas. Beans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the garbanzo bean. Well, that's that's a stupid name. It is. Who came up with that? Fucking John Garbanzo or something? I don't know. It sounds like something that's racist towards Italians. I really like the today I fucked up subreddit. Yeah. Where did the name Garbanzo come from? Because chickpea is the correct, like, real name. But where is it? Was, it was probably named after the Muppet. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Gonzo. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to find this out, guys. Everybody else, fucking vamp. Here's a, here's a high protein, easy to make treat for everybody. You take a can of Garbanzo bean chickpeas. You drain out all the liquid shit. You let it dry for like a half hour. Then you put them on a baking Grease with some olive oil and salt. Boom. Snack. They're pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, one thing I didn't say. So my my um, my um neighbor, when I was over at his house, he's like, hey, do you want some dried habaneros? Hmm. I was like, fuck yeah, that's my favorite pepper. I love habaneros. I love dried habaneros. So I had to eat one. Like a whole ass dried habanero because they smelled good and I wanted one. And I was like, I'm going to eat one. And he's like, you should probably not because it is an entire dried habanero. Yeah. Um, your your ass and mouth are not going to like it's, that. It's all the spicy parts. <laughs> yeah. We've, we took the water yeah. out and it concentrates the spicy. Yeah. So because I'm an idiot and was drunk, of course, I just go whop and just throw one in my mouth right there. Now, the heat I could handle in my mouth, like, it's hot, but it's, like, it's kind of like, uh, I, I want to say, like, some like, there's spicy foods, right? And then, like, you put it in, it's immediately spicy, it starts to die. Habanero, mm-hmm. especially dried habanero, ju- is, is just about the same amount of hot, but it stays there for a good five to ten minutes. Yeah. And I can handle that. Like, the, I, I can handle habanero. Um, but... Me, being who I am, didn't realize that my diet throughout the day had consisted of protein and a fuck ton of beer. So this morning, I went to go take a shit. And what came out of my asshole was an entire habanero seasoned (laughs) beer diarrhea of like... uh, I had meat diarrhea seasoned with an entire habanero beer shitting out of my ass. So I was basically just melting my toy like like it was like it was like in movies when something is like so hot or so acidic like like alien spit yeah, alien that it like melts through the floor then melts through the floor below that like i felt like my ass was shooting alien spit out of my butthole into my toilet melting through my floor <laughs> there was literally right. steam there was aliens, literally steam alien spit from my butthole got it 
<laughs> Holy shit, dude. This is I okay, to find out where Ridley God, Scott, Bible, more like Ridley out, shit. Yeah. To find, out, <laughs> to find out where the word garbanzo bean came from is fucking insane because like Google did not find me anything useful with like searching that that term. So I'm on fucking wordwizard.com forums, BB uh phbb forum uh and this guy it's the you know the meme of the guys like the workout guys like fucking typing like yeah. responses to that kid that's this like this guy's like where where did the term garbanzo bean come from versus chickpea um and so this guy actually is like noting some old texts here so i i believe it because the original chickpea uh d- derives from the middle english sheesh which was adopted from middle french sheesh which is latin for caesar or or like like the bean so it was like chickpea so sheesh plus p chickpea anyway same thing but garbanzo um 1841 was originally termed but it was originally in 1759 garbanzo came from the spanish name for the bean which is an alteration of garoba carab from the arabic caruba okay from old spanish so and it, that explains why my word, it, like, that explains why my goya bean can says garbanzo instead of chickpea. correct because it was it was the spanish name for what that plant was bastardized into garbanzo from what it was whereas chickpea is the english french cuisine bastardization of like sheesh like whatever because it's like the the plant is like scissor or something like the bean family it's in so that's where chick comes from i think anyway it's and fucking it, dumb words are like stupid but... indian food it's chickpea because of all the british like colonization and stuff probably <laughs> i assume no well in indian that's called i think chana right is that is that what indian is it chana uh is that what it is chana i have is no chickpea. idea Chana is chickpeas in uh, uh-huh. in Indian food. So if you see, yeah. Anyway, the, uh, the, yeah. The, so, but I, yes, this, I'm sure they call it that there too. There's this uh, Indian grocery store I used to I go love to chickpeas. Whenever I would look at their like just random bags of snack food, it would like a lot of the stuff. It was basically like chips, but instead of being potato, it was made with chickpea flour. Yeah, and yeah, of course. Fucking delicious. Gotcha. But but it I always gotcha. said chickpea on those bags, so I'm surprised there's give you... another word for it. Well, I think chana may be just the way. Oh, it's a... actually chana is a variety of chickpea that they use for um, the curry specifically. So there's different types of chickpeas. So it could be a different. I don't know. They use chickpeas a lot more than we do, so they probably have more than just one variety that we use to make hummus. Yeah, just I've heard they have for. a thousand words for chickpea. <laughs> Uh, you know it's a real good snack. Ever roasted chickpeas? You just take the can out, drain it. <laughs> I literally them. just described. It. You got up. Yeah, Wait, really? Whenever you yeah. were looking this up, Matt literally <laughs> said oh. everything you're about to say. It's so good though. It's the can of chickpeas, and you put spices over it, and they get like kind of crunchy and toasty. Huh. No, of course yeah, I have to. We f- talked about this five minutes to ago. say my favorite. <laughs> garbanzo my favorite bean based joke was the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean what's that i've never paid it twenty dollars to have a garbanzo bean on my face <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one also 20 bucks is a pretty good deal yeah yeah <laughs> oh my god i've never paid i've never paid a thousand dollars for a prostitute in moscow to garbanzo bean on a mattress that obama <laughs> slept on yeah, remember when that was a story? Man, people just kind of stopped talking about that, huh? Well, it's the it's the it's the strategy. Let's just put so much shit out there that nobody can pay attention to anything. It's exhausting. David Cameron, the former prime minister, I gotta uh, get another water of the United dying. Kingdom, fucked a pig. There was like this mounted pig. Uh. In his that college like fraternity, I saw and, that episode of Black Mirror. And, and the well, no, that's a real life thing that happened. They just referenced it in Black Mirror. Um, and and like so, there's this mounted pig head, and it's like, oh, you as as a hazing thing, you gotta fuck, you gotta get like put your dick in the pig's mouth. And to this day, English people are like, yeah, David Cameron fucked a pig, but like Trump 
he's just like, as soon as they figure out I fucked the pig, I gotta go fuck an antler. You know, like, oh, look at the like, like I'm gonna fuck these antlers on the wall. So I went to this hunting lodge, saw these big, beautiful antlers, and I just fucked them. Once that becomes a thing, it's like, well, I, I am antlers now. I have decided that I, I am now antlers. Yeah. Oh, the world was a simpler time. God. And he loses. He's not going to go away. He's never going away until he dies eventually, which will happen, hopefully. Guys, I shit out some pretty bad <laughs> habanero this morning. Where's the pictures? They're, I mean, they're technically in the hack the menu. It's just that that was pre digestion. <laughs> it's the same material, though. Do you think John's coming back? No, he's playing with his dog. No, I, I, I need to pour another Judy. drink, but we can't have two people leave at the same I mean, we we could. I've I've not even been here like the whole episode. I don't even listen to this shitty podcast. Oh. So Spanky, yeah. How's you and Ben? I haven't talked to him in a long time. Uh, having computer problems tonight. Oh, that's that's no good. Continues to like message me like, "Here's this error message," and I'm like, "I know what the error message means, but I can't fix it." I don't know what's going on. I mean, I've I've, I've got no assistance for that. Uh, I get just respond. Sorry for your loss. Um. Oh, I should start streaming again. But you know, just my, I just I, I'm exhausted by the time I got to get the kids to bed now. Text Joe to three zero three three zero. No, you text Joe to six nine six six nine. So everyone <laughs> just decided to take a break, huh? Basically, I mean, Matt I mean, did. I mean, Spinky and I were talking about Ewan, and you know, he hasn't been on here in a while, but apparently he's having computer problems. Uh, you and me, and me and you, we've got a subscriber in. Is talking up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even see. It's a tube of soup. Soup tube. What? I do soup like tube. a soup tube. You could put chickpea soup in a tube. You could do a hummus tube. Oh, man, a hummus. I would fucking live off that. <laughs> no, you gotta give me one that. I, I gotta have something that's a bit more scrumptious. You gotta give me a cream of chicken Why and wild rice. When I'm drinking water, my 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 horns go away. Because it doesn't identify a full face. No, it's because uh... water is. It's holy water, John. <gasps> it is. God, I just can't talk enough about how much I love this shit. What is it? Pakari sweat. Pakari sweat. What the fuck is that? It's Japanese. I got it at my Asian grocery store. Is it's it a Japanese drink? Like a it's an, uh, here, let me read. I'm going to read to you what it is. It is not <sighs> carbonated. Pakari sweat is a drink which supplies water and electrolytes lost through perspiration. Pakari sweat. Is quickly absorbed into the body tissues due to the fine osmolality and contains electrolytes for replenishing bodily fluids. Pakari sweat is thus highly recommended as a beverage for such activities as sports, physical labor after a hot bath, or even as an eye opener in the morning. It's from Otsuka Pharmaceutical Company, Tokyo, Japan. Okay, but okay. it's not like flavored. Ma- ma- it just looks like they're clear. No. It it is it is uh I, I would say the the, the liquid is uh, like a uh, like a milky white. Okay, liquid. Matt, it, it's Propel. Okay, it's anim- it's no, it's fitness got water. It's got, it's got calories in it. No, it's it's Japanese Gatorade basically. But it's yeah. clear. How do you have well, a yeah. sports drink that's not neon orange? So, <laughs> <laughs> but okay, but I think the thing that I love about it is the flavor is like. Light grapefruit citrus. It's very refreshing, and I want more of it. But a six pack of uh, these uh, two hundred and forty five milliliter cans. Holy uh, fuck! Is, is is six dollars, which is too much. I, I, 
I found the uh, Wikipedia page for Precarious Sweat, and the yeah. second bullet point is Lunar Dream Capsule Project. On the 15th yeah. of May, 2014, Picari Sweat started a project to send a capsule to the moon. The capsule will have the same shape as a Picari Sweat can <laughs> and will be filled with Picari Sweat powder. Once it arrives, Picari Sweat will be the first commercial product advertised on the moon. There you go. <laughs> and it was originally scheduled to be on a SpaceX launch in like 2015. Mm. It's currently booked on a lander in 2021. So apparently I can get it at this Walmart super center, according to Google, but I doubt it. Their website. So I, I don't know what sweat. soup. I don't know what soup tubes are. I don't it's get a tube the joke. Of soup. It's too. So, so I, I, Googled, for my I, Googled, I, I did a search for soup tube and I clicked on this one from the takeout. It says last call. Does your home need a soup tube? And I, here's the first sentence of this article. Oh, Reddit. What would we do without you in these dark, unprecedented times from <laughs> burying beans in our yards and then link us to the fucking thing I just read? Yep. So it's all full circle, yeah. everybody. It is from a, a, our slash relationships where a guy yes. was uh, that his girlfriend wasn't as excited about his entrepreneurial idea for a soup yep. tube. There was also yeah. a Pathios article about Trump endorsing soup tubes. Yeah, fair. Yeah. So, like, I need to buy more Picari sweat because I'm addicted to it now. And uh, Does it have a taste? I, t- I told you, it's, it, it tastes like, uh, uh, it's like, a, like a grapefruit. Here's taste. the thing. Me and Matt are on that seltzer shit. If it has a taste, we're already checked out. Yeah, that is true. Like I'm drinking, but right now I'm drinking bubbly, sparkling water, sparkling water with lime. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like someone was in a room and cut open a lime about twenty to thirty feet away from where they were carbonating some water. That's what it tastes like. I wouldn't have it any other way. Flavors <laughs> are bullshit. <laughs> I got some like natural flavor hard seltzer, and I was just like, "This is the fucking." whitest white person thing i just don't want too much flavor you know my tongue gets hurt with flavors <laughs> so i just need to free yeah i just really want more picari sweat and i need to uh figure out a way to acquire as much as i can um is expensive so you can go on amazon and have someone gouge you so i actually could do amazon right now so uh, let me look up, uh, you know, like the thing that people do on Amazon where they just buy shit and then sell it on Amazon. Drop shipping. Drop shipping. Well, it's not drop shipping. Drop shipping is when like something's already online and you order it and then just have it sent to Amazon. This would be That's what I did to Amazon. Matt. I drop shipped him a uh, Switch. A Nintendo Switch. And um, I'm eternally grateful. Playing all of the Mario 35. So if I wanted to, so a six pack of 8.3 ounce cans of Picari Sweat um, is selling on Amazon for $15 with prime shipping. Uh, and I can get that six pack from my Asian market for $6. So I could just do this and make money. Because like people do this all the time on Amazon. Like there was a, uh, I think there was a Trader Joe's stuff will get sold on Amazon all the time because you know mm-hmm. they don't have uh, like online ordering and stuff. So um yeah, yeah, but I want to. I'm I'm deep in the Picari sweat, and I need to buy it. But it's like Gatorade; they sell just the powder. So from Amazon, I can get Prime delivered eighteen bucks for enough powder to make uh, ten liters, which, which should sate me. Yeah, you know, just pour that in some sparkling water, and you're good. Mm-hmm. It is interesting how the, the lack Picari of carbon is not carbon really problem for me. Well, and it's in a it's in a can. Like a metal can, but it's it's wait, not that's clean. not carbonated? No, 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 no. No, oh, like disgusting. I don't fucking it's, want that shit. It's a Gatorade. No, it's gross. Honestly, I should just probably buy Gatorade powder. Because some, it's some Gatorade plain. Because I like Gatorade. I like Lime and Lime Gatorade. The Picari Spuff flavor is so good. Mmm. It's just slight. Mmm. No, I did I, uh, a little... Sorry? Matt, you're cut. 
Oh, you cut out. I was going to say, I I am a little turned off by it being called sweat. It is, you know, well, it's called sweat because of sweating, too. It That's... also just sounds like it's canned sweat. Yeah. <laughs> but like and... armpit sweat or like butt sweat? Because those are different kinds of sweat. One's yeah, a little bit chunkier. It's got I like meat to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the butt sweat's a little spicy. So, so about <laughs> two yes. months ago... Um, I did pick up a Propel because I hadn't had one in years, uh-huh. and I thought I was picking up Strawberry Kiwi because it was in a green bottle, and or you know it had the green labeling. I'm like, that's Strawberry Kiwi. I don't have to read it. Um, and I get it in the car. It was uh, it, it was a flavor that I've had before, but I wasn't expecting. It was cucumber lime, which was quite refreshing. Oh yeah. Not normally, I'm not normally a cucumber person, but I like how cucumber and lime mix. Sometimes I like my cukes. Yeah. You could scare Keeps a cat with fuck it. Like uh, yeah, that's right. There's a there's like a what's the Gatorade? There's like a cucumber Gatorade flavor. It's I think they also have a cucumber. Cuke. Beta cuke. Beta. <laughs> no, it's a uh, yeah cucumber lime cucumber. Yeah. It's got like a Spanish name because it's yeah L- limon pepino. Um. And I've gotten it Limon Pepino. It, it's very refreshing. Mm-hmm. The cucumber flavor is good. Um, maybe I just need to get get into buying Gatorade powder because, like, that's that's what I want really. But I want I want Picari sweat. Somebody give me Picari sweat. That's all I have to say. You can mail I'm Picari sweat with. to our PO box. Yes. Yeah. John, what's your home address? Uh, I'm not going to say that. Matt, what's your home address? I don't have it. in <laughs> under a bridge downtown. J- just my... request me on DoorDash. That's my address. We're good. Can I? All door- right, everyone. Can you, you, you DoorDash can... me some Picari no, sweat. You can you can send Picari sweat to our PO box. PO box one five five Elk Mound, Wisconsin, zip code five four seven three nine dash zero zero nine nine. What the fuck is what that? What the address? fuck is that? That is the Menards Rebate Center. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Why it's are we the giving them cool box stuff? That I have written down. Break. Stop. Hammer time. What's your favorite Gatorade flavor? Ooh. I don't think Ooh. I've ever had Gatorade. I love Gatorade, and it's one of my favorite things to drink. It's just a sugary drink, though. This is this is a soda conversation all over again. You know what's funny is that I literally do not think I've ever had Gatorade in my entire life. Um, you had Powerade. What's your favorite? Yeah, Powerade? I've had Blue Powerade, and that's it. Blue oh, Powerade Mountain Blast. Mountain yeah. Blast. Oh, and, and I've had and I've had Propel, which I think is like I. Here's my thoughts on Gatorade. Propel. Here's my thoughts on Propel. Why is why is its mouth so wide? Like, why does it got such a wide mouth on this? You bottle? can break it fast. Shut it down. Because you're so, thirsty. See, it, it it's about kissing it. Yeah, so I you can swear. get your tongue up in there. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, here's here's why you need Gatorade. I'll tell you, Spanky, because Gatorade's a proven classic. The legacy over 50 years in the making. Gatorade is the most scientifically researched okay. and game tested way to replace electric. John, get the life. fuck off the Gatorade Sport Institute website. What? <laughs> this is backed by science. All products are formulated at the Gatorade Sports Science Institute. God damn it. For science. <laughs> All right. So I just want to let every one of our listeners know they can go to the Gatorade Sports Science Institute forward slash born in the 80s podcast to get a to get a 10% off coupon for their first uh, order off of uh, Gatorade uh, new flavor called Habanero Butthole. It does have what plants crave. <laughs> John, I, I do have to say that my most... Uh... Um, it depends on my mood one is Glacier Cherry. Sometimes it just tastes like cough medicine. Sometimes it tastes the best. It depends on how I'm feeling that day. I'm going to tell you something. I never bought Gatorade because I thought people might mistake me for someone who wanted to do any kind of physical activity. Um, fruit Punch is very refreshing. Fruit Punch um, but it's, 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 it's a lot. It is a lot of flavor. G- getting back so, to we don't want flavors as no, white people. So Gatorade really got into you um or got into me as a kid because of michael jordan had a lot of gatorade ads and i was the prime 
want to be like Mike Age playing basketball. And his favorite flavor, he said, it was lemon lime. So that was my favorite flavor. Okay, I've got a thing. I remember these commercials. They were Michael Jordan sweating Gatorade. Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That disgusting. Bad. Oh, gr- green apple. Yeah. No. Fierce grape. I like fierce grape. I like fierce grape. Um, um, green apple's no good. <sighs> what is Arctic Blitz? I've had that. Uh, that that's all. It's like the, a blue, light blue. That's that's almost the equivalent of the uh, the Mountain Blast Powerade. Okay, what's cool blue? Did you oh, guys sorry. ever have? Did that wrong? Cool blue is the Arctic. Yeah. Is the Did you guys Mountain ever Blast. have Squeeze It? Yeah. Yes. What was your favorite flavor of Squeeze It? Fuck. I don't. Man, do you ever have those jugs? Here, here, no, yeah, I did. But here is the list: <laughs> Chucklin Cherry, Berry Be Wild, Grumpy okay. Grape, Silly Billy Strawberry, Rockin' Red Puncher, Mean Green Puncher, Smarty Arty Orange, and Troppy. First of all, it's Berry Be Wild always. But secondly, as an adult, I really just want that that Green Puncher one. <laughs> Dude, there's also don't forget Mondo. Remember Mondo's, like the off-brand uh, Squeezits. They yes. still make Squeezits. No. Um. So according to they've got um, Kool Aid bursts. According to Wikipedia, yeah. Um, it's a General Mills thing, so they just use the flavors for all their other products and just make these every now and then. Mm-hmm. Um, very popular in the mid '80s until about 2002. Um. Also appeared in stores from mid-2006, 2007, uh, 2011, 2012. It seems like there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just like, if they find some more old stock of those plastic bottles, oh, they just yeah. make some more, now, I guess. So, now, so, like, squeeze it, though, is like, it was, was probably cursed by the fact that when I was a kid, you would go do your YMCA, like, basketball or soccer. You know, you do your fucking kids' sport leagues, soccer. Mm-hmm. You get to squeeze it, you know, at the end of it, and like a fucking apple slice or something. Do you, Do you yeah. guys remember that in, in the same kind of bottles as the squeeze it's and like the uh-huh. the Kool Aid jammers? Uh-huh. Do you guys remember the that they had Jello in those? Like there was a Jello that came in those plastic things. Am I misremembering this? No, I, but I remember what the fuck you're talking about. I remember Jello in a like, like those stupid plastic drink things. That we're, that's what we're talking about, right? The Sure. The plastic, like it almost looks like I mean, a Kool-Aid Coke got glass the same bottle kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, with, with, but with did they do Jello in that? And I'm talking about actual Jello. It was actually all gelatinous. I'm, all I'm finding are like the that hippies get their kids. I want squeezes. No, but the thing is, is, is this was totally burned by the fact that uh, people were like, "Well, fucking, that's not healthy for our kids." We need 100% fruit juice to give our kids, which is no healthier. It's the same amount of fucking sugar, but it sounds healthy because it says fruit. It's like, you know, like corn's a fucking fruit, probably. No, corn's a grain. Corn is a grain. Squeeze it jello is a thing. I really? Can't, I can't Called click it. the YouTube video. There was also a, 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 a Lifesavers squeeze it, I remember, at one point. Wait, squeeze it jello. Yes, there was jello. I've in seen a commercial for this. Oh, dude, classic 90s commercial here though. Let me just I gotta screen share this. Yeah, dude. We can, we yes, can please do, because I can't click at the sound. Oh yeah, well I don't want to get the sound, yeah. So um this is a classic squeeze it commercial here. Oh we lost we lost John. John I'm going through a list here of defunct soft drinks. Wow. There was a soft drink called Dr. Nut. Dr. Nut. Yeah. Nut flavored or like cum yeah. flavored? Yeah, John, um, we can hear you. What the fuck? Well, I can tell. In the 1940s, it was marked at a competitive price. Um, had an almond flavor similar to Amaretto. It was a soda. All right. It was full of cyanide. I don't like the squeeze it commercials as much because they seem to amphorphomorphize the fucking bottles 
and you're like sucking out the insides of these yeah, like, you anthropomorphic are. you dirty yep. bitch it's kind of it's kind of gross i don't think that squeeze it jello existed and this is a mandela effect i saw a post about it that someone else was thinking the same thing that was 12 years ago so i know <laughs> it existed thing, tip of my tongue because uh, i drank it i i, I squeezed the jello out of that snack, shit kid snack like squeeze it but with jello inside do you guys remember? Do you guys remember the drink? Did you guys remember the drink called DNL? Yeah. Yep. Seven no. Up upside down. It was it was just the Seven Up logo upside down, and it was DNL. Okay. This person pointed. This might be the wrong country, but there was Wobble Gobble. What the fuck is Wobble Gobble? <laughs> Some British ass shit. And there's a fucking commercial for it with a chicken or a turkey. <laughs> Wobble gobble. Golden Circles Wobble Gobble. Oh. That is not man, right. Well, I, I love when uh <laughs> when we kind of go down the uh the rabbit hole of old timey food. This foods. guy says, I think you're thinking of gel ooze. Maybe gel ooze. But I remember that being distinct. Just says, was... I grabbed this still from a YouTube video. It's the only hard evidence I can find. What the f***? So this Sma- has oh, brought me wait, to uh, just wait, like... Here you go, TJ. I've okay. got it. Can you see that? Uh, I'm pulling up right now. Yeah. It's really hard to see, but... Does that look familiar? Does it still have those same kind of twist-off tops? It's the same twist-off tops, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've I've had those. I definitely have those. Yeah. Did you so... guys ever have a Hubba Bubba soda? What? No. What? what? Why? Did they have little bits of fucking uh, oh, bubble gum floating in it? it? Was, what it was is it was like fake bubble gum flavor, and it was way too strong. Like it, it, it made your mouth feel like you had just like gotten nutted in by bubble gum. The 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 logo guy for Hubba Bubba. <laughs> Ugh. This is a thing. TJ, here it is. I'm seeing lots of ads when I search the term Jaloos, G-E-L-O-O-Z-E. And there's lots of, like, ads for this, and it was a thing. Betty Crocker's Jaloos. I, I, but that, I think, had more of, like, just a little bit thicker than jelly quality. I swear there was also another one. I've had the Jaloos as well. <laughs> Everyone's saying nobody knows what the fuck this is. There's Meyer coupons. Jellu's 90s Reddit. Guys, let's go on the 90s Reddit. What a bunch of 90s kids we are. Nickelodeon. Um, Technically, I'm a 2000s kid, remember? I'm not allowed to be a 90s kid. You get the fuck out. Yeah, squeeze it. Those are classic. Silly Chucky Cherry. Chucklin' Cherry. Oh, you're really opening up my brain here to being a kid. <laughs> anyway, Jellu's. That's it. Franken stuff. What the fuck is this? I'm going down a deep hole. Man, no wonder everyone's fucking obese. They fed us <laughs> the most garbage shit as children. God damn, fucking little Debbie snacks after every fucking flag football game. Like, uh, and now kids get like organic granola after every game all kids now nowadays know how to use their phone eat hot chip and lie eat hot chip. be bisexual <laughs> eat hot chip and lie oh that's great uh oh my god anyway Gatorade's but, but, the best but, but, but yet kids Gatorade. kids nowadays will not know the thrill of having a birthday in elementary school and bringing all of your classmates candy necklaces <laughs> or, or or the candy watches candy watches yeah oh, oh candy cigarettes but it could I bring us to school used to buy candy cigarettes all the time on the way mm-hmm. uh, home from school when i'd walk because at the gas station the candy cigarettes were 10 cents a pack so like as my fucking you know like 10 year old self i could afford a 10 cent uh you know uh thing of uh we used to get candy all the time at that gas station as little kids. Um, I want Picari Sweat, though, and I need it. It's the best shit ever. 
I will not stop talking about how great Picari sweat is, and I need it in my body, and I need to find a place where I can have it. And I want non- it, and I need it. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to your sweat, Picari. Anyway, uh, eBay's got it. I don't know if I, there's a place called homesupply.com. It's $15 for a 10 liter pack of powder, $13 shipping, which seems a lot for a very small amount of powder. Anyway, guys, I think we're done. Do we have anything else? Yeah. Um, I- the subreddit of r slash the right can't meme, and now I can't look away. <sighs> Don't you can't look directly into the sun like that. <laughs> oh man, all I want is Picari sweat. I'm gonna go on their website and see if I can like get it imported. <laughs> Cause I can't stop thinking about drinking it. And I wanted to save one to drink during the podcast, but I I drank the last one on Friday. I guess I could just go walk to the Asian grocery store that I live next to and buy more, but Six dollars for six cans is a lot. When you chug the shit, because it's like Gatorade, it's not carbonated. You can just chug it. Um, all right. If any of our live listeners are living in the Marriott, Wisconsin area, please uh, order all of your meals tomorrow via DoorDash, and I will deliver them to your door naked. Uh, sure. I will. Yeah. Note in the order that says uh, it's got to be a code word so you don't get in trouble. But it'll be like um, extra pickles or something like that. The sweat you drink inside the meteoric rise of Asia's answer to Gatorade. In 1989, U.S. blockbuster Black to the Future 2, time traveler Marty Wait, McFly. Black to the Future? That? Yeah, is that an exploitation movie? <laughs> that yeah, I orders seen? a Pepsi Perfect at Hill Valley's Futuristic Cafe 80s. Uh, it was an uh, iconic moment of product placement. Um but if you look very closely at a different scene showing future McFly as he video conferences a worker in 2015, another brand makes a cameo appearance. That drink was called Picari Sweat. It's in, they got an image here from the movie. There's a can of Picari Sweat like this sitting on his desk. Um, though the creators didn't have much product placement to deal with Picari Sweat, they did have given their art department a general directive to include Japanese elements in the scenes picked in 2015 because they were like japan's going to take over obviously um and that they did anywhere it's just sold in asia south korea which i believe this is korean on this so this is a south korean manufactured version which would make sense because my market has korean stuff uh as well as chinese and uh okay. thai and uh, vietnamese i'm but, gonna have um, to try this because you bought it it's a drink that mimics sweat. That's what they're saying. Is that like you sweat stuff out? This puts back in the stuff that you sweat out, but yeah. like in a tasty because way. it's literally made of sweat. Um. Uh. Well, this is great. Bakari's story starts with Rokuro Harima, an Atsuka employee who got food poisoning during a business trip to Mexico in the 1970s. At the hospital, doctors told him to replenish his energy with fizzy soda drinks. But when he spotted a doctor drinking from a pouch of IV solution to rehydrate himself after performing surgery, he had an idea. Um, And Otsuka, which is a pharmaceutical company, had been making IVs for hospitals, but two and two together. He was like, let's make something you could drink that like hydrates you, like getting an IV hydrates you, basically. I'm hung up on just the fucking doctor tearing into an (laughs) IV bag. It's like this guy's in the hospital. The doctor's got the IV bag, rips it off, and just—it's like a squeeze it. He no. just like fucking dunks it back. Yeah, it's like one of those pouches that you try to jam the straw in without having. It's a, a Capri both Sun. Sides. Yeah. Or, uh, oh, did you guys? All right, th- this is going to be my district got cheap for a bit. Do you guys? Did you guys have bagged milk for any time during your schooling? Like yeah, milk yeah. came in just a plastic bag. We switched bag. over no. to bags for us my, for a short period of time. Yeah, yeah. my would get bagged milk from the grocery store, and they had like now a here's, special. Here's a question I have, they had a though. special pitcher so, that would like pinch the corner shut when you weren't using it. Here, here's a Corps question are, I have though, because you guys are in a border state with Canada, and Canada has a pretty big dairy like like cross country trade stuff. Um, mm-hmm. 
and uh, they bag all their milk in Canada. I wonder if, like, maybe they were supporting, like, milk that they were importing. Um, because I've never fucking heard of that. I've that's I mean, like I know bag milk exists, but never in America have I seen it. And I think the reason I've never seen it is because Highland milk is in St. Louis. Um, so I've never like all my milk in my entire life has been Highland milk. Well, we we were Wisconsin school, so I guarantee this is Wisconsin milk, just because No, it, Wisconsin it, milk be. doesn't exist, it all gets created into cheese. And it, none of the milk survives. Yeah. It gets turned no. into a lot. Lactose beers. Sixty percent of Wisconsin milk gets dumped intentionally to keep milk prices decent enough for farmers. But that's a whole different story we're not gonna get into right now. Um but uh but no, it was single serving milk bags as opposed to like the full like quart or uh, half gallon milk bags that you see in Canada. Yeah, that is but I'd never seen those. That was like two years in elementary school for me. Chocolate milk just tastes so, tastes so much better coming out of a tiny carton. <laughs> yeah, chocolate milk is not the same unless you taste a little bit of ripped paper. Yeah. As you're drinking it down. So anyway, I, I want to say right now, uh, 2020, you know, uh, uh, Ots- Otsuka Pharmaceutical Company recruited virtual pop star Hatsune Miko as a brand ambassador. <laughs> yes. Uh, now postponed Summer Olympics. So you guys would have probably seen a lot of Pakari sweat shit in the Japanese Olympics because this is their Gatorade. Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, I'm there for it. So I want to bring Pakari sweat. So if you're listening, Hatsune Miko and uh, Otsuka Pharmaceuticals, get in touch with Board in the 80s. We will be your Pakari sweat. Brand ambassadors uh, in the U.S. and uh, you make a great drink, and I can't get enough of it. I need more. That's all. John, where can we find more episodes? More in the eighties dot net. What about you? Where can we find you? Go to live dot music dot com. It's totally John normal. John underscore danger at twitter dot com. God damn it! I need Picari sweat. <laughs> you can find uh, me at mathagmusic.com that's where I put all my stuff I've been making some sample packs for music maker people that are fun um, twitch.tv slash mayofbay or twitter at mayofbay84 um, Spanky I can never find you so that's cool too don't look you won't okay. like what you find alright that's cool um, but more importantly, discord.boardinthe80s.net. That's where you can come talk to us. Or, you know, if you really just bother us with more than three messages, we'll probably put you on an episode. Yeah, that's how Spanky got here. I didn't message anyone. TJ just no, said, I, hey, there's I, this I, person I, I know. Can't yeah. fucking get rid of you, no matter how just, hard kept, we try. I just <laughs> kept poking him until, he, <laughs> until him, and, him and you and just, like... Hey. I, I never wanted to be on this shitty podcast. I was dragged into it. <laughs> All right, goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. Okay. I turned I turned the sound on. Did you want sound on this podcast? All right. Let's see if we can hear me. What did you say? What are we doing? Hello? Yeah, we can hear me. Hello? What? All right. Here we go. Hi, this is John. All right, I'm going to do... <laughs> Hello, levels. John. Get levels here. All right. Are you this is John talking, daughter? and then we're going to do Matt, and then TJ, and then Spanky. Hey, this is Matt. How's it going? I'm talking like this. Uh, TJ's here. Uh, it sucks I'm almost out of water, but I'll deal. How is it if I DoorDash Walgreens to get okay. some Ben and Jerry's? Um, it's They go into the store. Like, the Dash will go in the store and buy it for you with their card. And then, you know, they're not pulling that aside ahead of time. Ben and Jerry's is like more expensive at Walgreens, I think. 
Everything is more expensive at Walgreens. Yeah. Walgreens is a terrible fucking store. Uh, why don't you get like fucking Target or something? Well, because Target's closed. Oh. The only store yeah, on right. DoorDash. Because Walgreens is 24 7 because it's got a 24 hour pharmacy. 16 beers at Chili's! 14. No, it's 16 tonight. So I'm going to look at. 16 beers at the neighbors! <laughs> I did drink nine beers yesterday at my neighbors. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. I love Should that game. COVID. Hmm? I said getting that COVID, right? From your neighbor? Super spreaders! Look, the president said it was okay. I... President. He, yeah, the president told me I should not let fear of COVID ruin my life, so I'm just going back to normal. There are 24 stores near me, apparently. Wingstop. It's just wings. Chipotle. Oh, I could door dash Chipotle. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Popeyes. Chili's. Ah, oh, fuck! There you go. Yep. I've picked up some uh, chilies. Hooters. Uh, Sonic. Casey. <laughs> KFC. Papa John's. Wouldn't DQ. it suck if somebody DoorDash Queen Hooters Queen is accepting fucking... orders until 9.30 p.m. I could fucking DoorDash some chicken strip baskets. Fucking TJ shows up in a hooter. Hey, don't tempt That's me. <laughs> Hula hands. Hey, at least we're recording this, because... This is gold. And Ruby are we, re- are we ready to start? Um, so who's going to Photoshop my head on a Hooters body? So John's ed- in charge of Photoshopping. Okay. So I'm editing episode uh, 410 right now. Because I can and, only use G-Imp. And, uh, and I'm just going to say this. This episode is... Let's look at the time stamps on this. This episode is two hours... Two hours, 58 minutes. 15 minutes. And then we have a pre-show talk about how Ruth Bader Ginsburg died that is... 35 minutes. 35 minutes, so it's almost three hours. (laughs) No, it was a long episode. It's like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's exactly like Lord of the Rings. A better. Are you ready? Yeah, Yeah, I don't... Yeah, whatever. A cat just crawled into my lap and yawned, so that means the podcast starts. Uh, yeah, tell it to fuck off. I want to tell it to fuck off.